All right, YouTube, what's going on? We're back in it for another one. Update number two for Battlefield 2042. We got some progress here, people. We do have some progress, and DICE has come out and let us know that their biggest patch yet is scheduled for next week. So things are looking good, man. <laughs> like, this game, it's got a lot of problems, but things are looking good. And I can confirm, I played one game, you know, so just take that for what it is. I played one game. Uh, because I got to make this video real quick before I got to leave the house, man. I got a busy day. And when I played that one game, though, I like the hit detection felt better. I can honestly say that m my bullets seem to be registering more. That has been my biggest problem with this game so far with Battlefield 2042. It's the one thing that pisses me off about this game. It's the reason why I'll close app, even though I still I want to keep playing. The hit registration is, has been awful in this game. And I can say from the one game... It does feel better, but, you know, that could have just been a lucky game, too, where I had connection. Who knows, right? But, uh, you know, I played one game, and it felt better. But let's get into these uh, these changes real quick. Update 0.2.2 fixes changes and improvements. Bullet spread has been reduced on all weapons except shotguns, which is the way it should be. This should result in better accuracy during gameplay. Now, that... <laughs> that that's huge just all around right i mean i remember the uh the main assault rifle we had in the beta um it, it was great the beta I, I was putting in so much man, i was clapping fools with that thing in the beta over here i don't use it man i can't fuck with it i i don't touch it so hopefully this makes using that gun a little bit better i know some other people still use it but for me it's just like ah uh, you know what i mean but I haven't tried it yet either in the one game I played. We'll talk about the one game I played in a little bit as well too. Increased PP29 vertical recoil to ensure that the weapon does not overperform when engaging outside of its intended combat range. Thank you. This is another one. Now see, the PP is so far has been the only gun that's actually has been really working for me, man. There's a couple other ones that I've been putting in some work with, but the P like in all out warfare the PP is the go-to gun for me. You know, I've been sniping a lot over there. I find it really easy to snipe in Battlefield 2042. Plus, when I get sniped, all these dudes is holding down lines of sight, just chilling in the back of the map, camping the spawn. I switch to a sniper, and I start just doming these motherfuckers, right? Like, the sniping, I find, is very easy in this game. But when I'm not sniping, or using an LMG, or using uh, one, trying to rank up one of the assault rifles... My go-to gun is the PP, and I felt like it is a little bit too strong. It, it was just like a laser beam. I was getting outgunned. Like, I was trying to rank up, like, the AK-24 and shit, which has really terrible recoil. I was getting outgunned at good range by the PP. Dudes were just, like, it felt like they were two-shot me. It, it was crazy, man. So, it needed a nerf. It was my favorite gun to use, but it needed a nerf, man. We need more balance there, and I just, I really hope this whole, you know, knocking back the, uh... <laughs> the recoil and shit all around with the uh, bullet spread. I hope that they actually really did something legitimate there, man. But anyways, let's get into the next change here. Resolved an issue where players who were killed close to obstacles such as walls or water were unable to be revived. Um, I honestly noticed that as well, too, even when they weren't killed by walls and stuff. They would just be in, like, the middle of nowhere, and you just, you can't res them and shit, man. You can't revive them. Uh, so <laughs> that's another one. That they need to look into. Next one. Resolved instances where players were stuck in a down state and unable to respawn. We've also introduced a hidden timer that will activate after 30 seconds of being in a down state. That will force a redeploy should it be required. Well, there you go. Right? Uh, that also has been another problem. But they implemented another fix here just in case their original fix doesn't work. So, they're listening. You know, obviously, with me playing the one game, I haven't experienced this yet, so I can't speak on if it's actually fixed or anything like that. I mean, they're coming out here and talking about it, right? Looks like it should be fixed. Let's move it on. The Nightbird mounted 20 millimeter cannons reduced blast radius size from 3 to 2, reduced inner blast radius damage from 1.5 to 0 0.75. Uh, I, I don't... I, I like sometimes when you're going up against a god tier pilot and those things, it's really frustrating because even if you do get some damage on them with a lock on launcher, um, they'll just go, they'll fuck off for a little bit, they'll go and hide, 
wait until their their shit is fully repaired, and then they'll come in and just destroy the whole team again, man. When you're up against dudes like that, it's it's rough. But for me, I noticed trying to learn, especially to fly the Nightbird and shit like that, trying to get better at piloting choppers, you know, I'm noticing that it's, uh, <laughs> you're at a huge disadvantage for the most part, man. You got tanks locking onto you. You got the, the uh, what is it, the Super, Ho Super Hokum, I think it's called, the Apache. You got that locking onto you. You got the jets locking onto you. You got everybody who's running lock-on launchers locking onto you. Plus, you got the tanks that don't have lock-ons that are just free-frying it. Like, it seems like you're just at a, such a disadvantage when you're in the sky for the most part in this game. But I don't know if it really needed that nerf, but it, it is what it is. Hey, man, uh, you know, I'm, I'm more in favor of things being balanced than crazy op anyways you know we seen what it did to modern warfare 2 back in the day so like you know i'd rather just a more balanced game if that means it's more balanced then a whatever i was getting tons of hit markers before with the nightbird i guess i'm gonna get even more now <laughs> I, I don't know man but speaking of the super hokum they also uh reduce blast radius from 2 to 1.6 reduce blast damage from 20 to 14 reduce bullet damage before damage falloff starts 18 to 15 reduce damage falloff distance from 200 to 180 reduce bullet damage at max falloff damage from 8 to 6 increase bullet range and spread all right so you know a, a kind of a big nerf there for the uh the super hokum but uh a tiny little buff there at the end too so i mean hey <laughs> like just take what you can get right you know, I don't really use that too, too much. I have used it, but I don't use it too, too much. So I, I, I can't really speak on that, whether or not I feel like um, those nerfs were justified or anything like that. I feel like the Nightbird, I already got tons of hit markers with it. So I felt like it's not really necessary, but hey, it, it is what it is, man. Let me know in the comment section if you think these were good changes for the, uh, the Super Hokum. And then we got the Apache Warchief. Reduce blast damage from 20 to 18 increase the damage fall off for enemies that that are further away from the bullet impact center all right so a couple changes there a uh, little bit of a buff a little bit of a nerf we've reduced the overall damage of the minigun for all land vehicles all right <laughs> like, i barely use them man but all right alongside bullet damage drop off now starting earlier so what they did there was reduce bullet damage before damage fall off and starts from 18 they moved it down to 13 reduce damage fall off distance from 60 to 40 reduce bullet damage at max fall off distance to six holy shit yo people are doing a lot of complaining man <laughs> so they got a change here for the hovercraft equipped armor type for the lcaa hovercraft has been adjusted which increases its vulnerability against different weapon types so they got here battlefield portal uav1 the uav1 has been re-enabled with battlefield portal greatly reduced health regeneration delay and speed thank you man that that is huge like that is like thank you so much dice that's a big one man increased missile damage against vehicles and infantry that's another one uh that i i noticed like it, to the extreme man so i'm glad they looked at that i'm glad they got a fix here for that man that was that's huge as well too the drone is now able to road kill enemies all right so there you go people are getting their montage <laughs> clips now right with the drone oh my goodness but all right so we finishing it up here breakthrough matches will now correctly end after the last sector has been captured uh what about the fix here that just when you join the game um you can't do shit you gotta leave the game before like that only happens with breakthrough too i don't notice it happening with conquest what happened to that <laughs> we need a fix for that too dice but anyways uh resolved an issue that caused players queued for a match in battlefield portal to be sent back to the main menu instead of joining the match when a slot became available this actually happened to me so many times man i lost count and it was so annoying too like you'd be sitting there you'd be waiting you're queued you know you're you're in second spot or something like that and instead of jumping in like you wait all that time like i see me sometimes wait like five to ten whole minutes and then you know i think i'm getting ready to to be finally thrown into the game and i'm just sitting there browsing around my phone while i'm waiting and then i look up from my phone 
and I'm at the main menu again. <laughs> like, what, like, what happened, man? So I'm glad they fixed that. You know, progress here, people. Progress. And the last bullet point they have made general improvements to stability to prevent rare occurrences of game crashing. So there you go. Um, you know, definitely some positive here. I don't agree with some of the nerfs that I've seen. Other nerfs that, uh, you know, I'm not really sure about, so I can't really speak on that. You know, um, but overall positive, man. They got some fixes here. Like I said, I played the one game. And it felt like hit detection was better, but again, like that's not me saying it's better, it's, you know, it's it's fixed, whatever. I only played one game, right? Like I said, it could have just been a lucky game. I had great connection, but I will say this. I found the game through the new playlist they have in the game now. It's a TDM playlist, and they got it up there with Battlefield 3 Conquest, 1942 Conquest, and Bad Company 2 Rush, right? It's, it's attached to that now. Now you have four out of that kind of main menu when you go to portal now and it's beautiful man i hope it stays here i hope it stays here until we move on to the next battlefield man it's bad company two weapons versus bad battlefield three weapons on 2042 maps now i could i could change that a little bit and make it even more fun i feel like but i'll tell you what i only played the one game oh my god dude i i was having a good time man i was <laughs> i was having a good time the game was it was running for the most part. Um, you know, it definitely seems like... Uh, it, it just felt like a little crisper, man. I, I You know, I, I can't speak on whether or not all the problems are gone and all that shit. I highly doubt it. They still got another big patch coming next week and shit like that. All I'm going to say is I played one game so far. I'm definitely looking forward to playing a, a bunch of more games when I get home. And it just it felt more crisp, right? It felt like my bullets were connecting, man. What can I say? You know what I mean? This has been a huge problem with this game since it dropped. And it just, I only played the one game, but it felt better, man. I know I sound like a broken record right now because I feel like I got to keep repeating that because some haters are going to jump in the comment section and start running their mouth, right? Like, eh, it's not fixed, but I played the one game, <laughs> but it felt better in the one game. So we're definitely going to test a little bit more when I get back. Let me know what you guys think of patch two in the comment section. Do you think it's good? Do you think it's bad? I want to hear it. I'm out.